This is The Extra Point, an Arizona's Family Originals podcast, sponsored by your Phoenix Suns. When it went in football, you need big humans, and the Cardinals certainly have one in rookie tight end Tip Ryman, who recently stopped by the station with a couple of his rookie teammates to have some fun on the news. We sat down with Tip to hear more about his story and his unique journey to the NFL, along with some of his interesting hobbies. So, okay, so I was I was talking to my son about this, and I was trying to describe you, and, and it was like, uh, well, he likes pottery. Yeah. Uh, he's vocal about his faith, and he likes smashing people. Does that does that sum it up? Is that a, is that a good description? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd include the outdoors in there for another hobby, and that's a good thing. I'm in Arizona. There's a lot of that, so that's awesome. But like pottery and outdoors, and then those other two. <laughs> All right, let's let's start with the pottery. So, how did you get into pottery, and how active are you as a as an NFL football player right now, making your own? Was it coffee cups or what what sort of stuff? Oh, really, everything. I started like. Obviously, you just start with like cups and bowls, you know, and um, I started learning on YouTube. I'm a very visual learner and um, YouTube is like I'm YouTube University right here. You know, I love it. You can learn anything and everything on there and I love it. Um, and so I just like started watching pottery, people making it and stuff. Um, and I just loved it. <laughs> and it was like calming, but also like very skillful. And I thought it was really cool. And then um uh, my mom's old boss that she used to work for, he hadn't used this uh, this wheel that he had for like the last five years, 10 years or whatever. And he um, he saw I was getting into it and like just always watching that stuff. And so uh, he was like, shoot, use this one and see if you see if you like it, you can keep it. And so tried it, loved it, was good at it, keep doing it. <laughs> and uh, so now it's like anything from, you know, the big vases and, a nice, nice huge handle to like a little earring holder for my wife, or you know what I mean, or like uh, sets. I'll make sets of stuff. So like my my sisters, I've made um, sets of bowls and plates that are like stackable and and uniform, so they they can be stackable and everything and the mugs and all that is, good stuff. Is it like therapeutic after like a game of running into people as hard as you can <laughs> to come home and do some pottery? I mean, that's a good way to look at it, probably. <laughs> yeah, just like how a lot of guys is like mowing the lawn, like that's therapeutic, but it's probably just a different outlet in the same sense. Yeah. And so you were you were telling me you were always uh, what you told us in the news conference, your introduction news conference. You were always a physical kid, physical kid, oh, yeah. but you told me you were kind of a small kid growing up. Yeah. So did you think you would be sitting here talking to me about playing in the NFL when you were a sophomore in high school? I honestly did. Yeah, I. So from day one, I always thought like, I always thought, but I, I, I didn't think I knew, I always knew like this was, this was the path. This was the vision. Um, you know, there was a lot of like, <laughs> there was a lot of people that didn't think so, but every step of the way, it was just like, man, I don't know how I know that this doesn't appear like X will happen, but I know it's going to happen. It's just, it's just very clear. Not sure why, but that's what brings me to like a lot of the faith stuff is like it's just it's what it is it's faith and faith in god providing what i believe he said he would provide and so um yeah i mean it's just a faith thing where it's like i just i believed it every every step of the way and it's shown through what's it what's it like to be here what was it like for you and your wife to drive into phoenix and know that you're gonna be playing for the nfl team here in town <laughs> we were driving our u-haul with her car on the in the back and I was I was towing it behind the U-Haul and we were driving down 87 we were driving through the mountains and stuff and into the valley and we were like man this is so cool and we were just thinking about like just in this in this desert expanse all of these like these rivers you know that God is going to create of community of of um of football, of success, of just life, of peace, of rest, of of all of these awesome things and all these fruits of the spirit. And you can just see like we were just we were just talking and envisioning as we were coming down into the valley. And uh, you know, it, it was a really cool experience to be able to do that drive and really have that transition period from Illinois to here. Um and to to let that I don't know, just let that soak in and really experience that together. It was pretty cool. I 
I definitely enjoy it. <laughs> oh, Arizona's a, I mean, it's a great, great state for that. Just, just kind of uh, getting out and seeing things and, and letting your mind, yeah, go at peace for sure. Yeah. Uh, and you, you seem like a guy with a pretty good sense of humor as well. The whole uh, I, I don't believe be. in birds thing <laughs> we thought was pretty funny. How did that? How did that start, and why was it important to clarify? Because <laughs> it's important to clarify because it's gone on and on and on. And, I mean, you, you guys saw, like, it was trending, on, which is, like, that's hard to do. Like, we were like, we have a sports show. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was insane. So um, it came about at the Combine, this guy, the great sense of humor, this guy, and he was coming around asking questions, and one of them was, are birds real? And I had heard. Well, that somebody was asking you that at the combine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I didn't think I, that was out of left field. I didn't think it was coming either. Um, but so I heard that, and I was like, you know, I have heard of this birds aren't real movement, and I always thought it was funny. And so I was like, yeah, let's let's just have fun with this and, and mess with them because that's my sense of humor. It's just like, yeah, let's have fun with this. And so I let it on. I was like, man, have you ever seen a baby pigeon? You never know. And then I thought, you know, the the charging. You know, the telephone cable is being recharging, uh, like, ports for them or whatever. Oh, that's funny. Said that, and then, like, that blew up and, and got quoted of, like, Tip is a firm believer in the birds aren't <laughs> real <laughs> in this, like, very resolute way, and it was not not what it was made out to be. My back patio will confirm that birds are real and yeah. they need to be cleaned up after. <laughs> yes, And if I'm they're sure. not, I, there's some explaining to do. Um, <laughs> it seems like there's a little bit of maybe like uh, some appreciation for Gronk here playing the position. You had the same <laughs> yeah. number. Is that is that yeah. sort of the benchmark? Who do you look up to here? I always loved uh, watching Gronk's game. I loved how he was, you know, he was really physical in the blocking game and the pass game. Um, there's so many good tight ends, though. You know, I can't exclude anybody, but there's so many, so many good ones. But Gronk is like, you know, he's he's a he's a household name for a reason, right? He's just he's insane at what he did, one of the best to ever do it. Um, and to to wear the same number is really cool. Um, and so hopefully I get some spikes this year that'll that'll resemble his a little bit, right? <laughs> that'll be fun. But um, yeah, I've always looked to his film to kind of see how he did stuff, what I could maybe, what I could maybe do to um, mimic or anything I could do better, things like that. He's, he's obviously a great one to mimic <laughs> if you're going to do it. So. Right. One of the best of all time. Yes. I mean, and when you look at your career here and it's hard, you haven't even been to training camp yet, but yeah. what's the vision for how you'd like this go? What's the prayer? What's the, um, you know, as you, as you vocalize your goals here and, and try to reach them? Yeah, I mean, um, shoot, the the team goals are what the team goals are. Um, you know, Kyler, Kyler, he put those out there on the media, and that's exactly why we're all doing this: is to win a Super Bowl and to win. We're we're all here to win. If you're not here to win, get out the door. You know, um, but as far as personal goals, it's just like it's really less tangible than you know someone might throw out there. But it's really just earning the trust of the organization, of my teammates building the bonds with everybody on the team, the coaches, the staff, support staff, everything. Um, and then just maximizing whatever role that I can carve out for myself. And whatever that looks like, it's going to vary. Um, and it's not it's not really easy to put a number to, to put words to, but uh, you know when you see it type thing. Right? You know you know, all that dude's maximizing what he's got. So um, whatever that is, you know, it's going to change year by year, I'm sure, and how, as dynamics change. But um, – I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely maximize myself in every way I can. Awesome. Well, this has been a great conversation. I wish we could just keep going, but we got to get to the hot of the hamburger eating contest. <laughs> <laughs> the Extra Point Podcast is a production of 3TV, CBS5, and azfamily.com in Phoenix, Arizona.